His mission is to become the next Wizard King. No, well, Silva from the costume party. Oh man, one of my favorite units actually. Um, I've 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 enjoyed using her since she's dropped. She's been a like she's been like meta since she's dropped, and honestly, I'm just very happy with her because the things that she can do is insane. And actually, she's a hard hitter, so I have her built a little bit in hard hitting. So some people would be like, "Why are you working on her magic attack?" Like, you should be working more on her defense. Well, her magic attack comes in clutch sometimes. All right. So, yeah, let's jump into her build real quick. Immediately, let's go into her skills. So I got some skills worked on to level three. I was going to work on her and get her all the way to level five on all of them. But then again, I was like, doesn't really need all these enhancements. So with the way that she's enhanced, I'll just leave it at that. But the ones that you should work on are these two. Skill two. Um, for definite reasons, you get that increase. And in I mean, yeah, you definitely want to work on the skill two and the ultimate. The main thing is the ultimate, but skill two as well could very much come in clutch. All right. Um, so yeah, I got those maxed out and then I have a level four skill page, um, with three dupes in it. Very good skill page for what I have for her. Um, if I were to put any other skill pages on her, if I would have this, I would probably throw this on because you know the increase on defense as well as hp buff really could could it could do a lot for her um you can also use this for the max hp but i would put that on charlotte instead as long as you can put anything that has damage resistance on her on it um you know increasing defense anything like that you can definitely put on her it could very much do a lot you can also put this on because of the um, defense and endurance that could be very good as well so those are some things that you can work on one thing that she's here for is the defense man the defense is there for a reason because you want her to withstand attacks as well you want her to be that unit that's going to absorb attacks as well as do the debuffing or the buffing for um your team except you're going to be debuffing you're going to be debuffing the opposite team to, yeah <laughs> that's what i'm trying to say but um talent three I have the LR uh, magic attack and regular attack increased magic attack and you know the crit rate not really gonna do much for her but you know whatever <laughs> you know um, this is defense as well as the crit res um, <clears throat> you can put this as well you can run it like this as well if you want because that debuff immunity for one turn if the e HP is equal to or lower than 35% that could be very tedious because um, she's already going to be absorbing attacks and, um, I have a defense level two for her. Yo, dude, I'm going to tell you right now, putting this is annoying because the fact that when she gets under 35%, she's going to be ignoring debuff Well, grants debuff immunity. It could very much be very good. 100%. Now max HP, if you want to, you could run, but it's not going to help her out as much as you think. Now, here is where I'm running the um, skill two cooldown because I feel like that's going to be a very like beneficial thing for her because her skill two is more important than her ultimate. Although I said to work on her ultimate, ultimate and the skill two are really good is what I'm trying to say. OK, you can use any of these two and be very good. You should be fine. But this is more important. Recently, a lot of people have been using their Charlotte as well as their Noel together the way that I have. So they have been working with um, the skill two more than the ultimate because they're using combination attack. So you don't really need to work on this. So get these two just so you can benefit from the barrier from Charlotte as well as getting your skill two so, so you can do um, the debuffing on the enemy team. So that's going to be very good for her. Uh, crit resistance is the key thing here for her. I feel like you can use a regular three percent you can use the ssr version or the lr version all right that's all up to you guys however you guys want to use it definitely use it but crit resistance is the one for her in my opinion now next thing we're going to look at is the gears all right so the gears so these are the accessories that she has on she has this right here with really good hp and magic attack substats which has percentages to them attack is there just because i don't 
whatever. And then the crit rate is all right. Um, the yeah, the ring earring that she has on is okay because I have like okay substats. And then the this is the uh, ring that she has currently with the HP uh, substat percentage as well as crit rate, crit damage. That's fine, whatever. Now for the actual ge uh, gears. These are the gears that she has. She has an SS rank crit rate, crit res percentage, crit rate B. This is a really good piece, man. Um, this is also what I got for her. Now, the things that you should roll for is magic attack, in my opinion, because her magic attack is actually really good. So I would take advantage of it. But if you don't want to work on the magic attack, you can use crit rate, you can use crit resistance, you can use damage resistance, you can use defense percentage. You know, you can use all of those. Um, but the way that I've got it, she's doing a really good job. She comes in clutch with her attack stat as well, her magic attack stat too. So, I mean, I'm going to keep it as I have her and I'm going to continue using her the way that I have her. But you guys, if you guys want to do it the right way, and, and let me tell you something as well, guys, there's no wrong way of building a unit. Okay. You can build it the way that you can and how you can afford. All right. So don't let anyone ever judge you and be like, oh, your unit's so trash, blah, 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 blah. Just be proud of how you have your built your units built. If you're building them the right way, be happy with what you've got. OK, um, that's all I can really say. Um, so the roles that you should go for HP percentage, um, defense percentage, crit res percentage. Um, you can put magic attack and crit rate if you want. But it's mostly crit res, HP, defense, damage resistance, like anything that's going to make you absorb attacks and have you like absorb attacks very well. And if you want to dish out some attacks, you can throw in a little bit of magic attack percentage and crit rate as well. That's on you. That's on you. All right. But these are the roles that I'm working with. And as you guys can see what my Noel is capable of doing, man, she does a lot of damage at some points. So yeah, but these are my gears. Very good gears, I would say, in my opinion, to run for her. This is how I have her built. Now, I just want you guys to know, just because I have a shoe here doesn't mean that you need one as well. If you have any defense piece that has a main stat for defense and really good substats, go for that. Use that, okay? I don't need you to use a shoe because I'm using a shoe. If you got a good defense piece with good substats, use that on your unit, okay? That should be your, your, your random, uh, that random piece left on your set that should be a good piece that would benefit your unit but guys that's gonna be the end of the video um i hope you guys did understand and, and enjoy and like have an idea on how to build your noel like i said her magic attacks that can come in clutch it can very much help you out okay but it just depends on how you build your unit at the end of the day